it's game number two of this 2016 season. The Mink League opener for the Mustangs this evening inside Phil Wolf. Dixon Marble on the mound tonight for St. Joe's Summer College baseball team. We There's a high fastball swung on and missed, and two strikeouts for Dixon Marble here in the opening frame. It's an 82 degree night, and Dixon Marble very good in the opening frame. No score here in the top of the bottom of the fourth, I should say. Here's the 3 2. Ground ball toward third. Short hop and a good play by Niemerg. Throws across the diamond and throws it away. In the dirt. Day couldn't handle it. And scoring on the play is Brady Anderson. Got him to swing and miss. Great curveball that time from Dixon Marble. He swings and misses. And Dixon now with five Ks through six innings. We're to the bottom half of the sixth. In all, 12 strikeouts and four walks for Sedalia pitching. And the Mustang pitchers have. Now 10 strikeouts and five walks. Here's a fly ball, shallow right center field. Tyler Cox in, he will slide and make the catch down the right field line. Mustangs trying for a walk off win. Two on, one out here in the bottom of the 10th inning. And a bouncing ball towards short. Gonna be tough to double him up. They get the out at second base and will not turn two. Now trying to score all the way from second is Cassiola and the ball is dropped by the catcher and he will score. Davey Cassiola will score on a double play attempt, and it's a walk-off win as the ball got away from the catcher, Robert Cummins, and the St. Joseph Mustangs defeat the Sedalia Bombers by a score of 3-2 to two in walk-off fashion. And Cass